going on everybody this is round two i'm trying to record this uh ran into some technical difficulties but i figured them out i think and i hope i have a useful video for everybody with a wii u uh, i've been looking online on how to rip wii u games and everything seems to be outdated and right now there seems to be a renaissance of sorts of people being nostalgic or just talking about the Wii U more even I just started you know thinking hey I have a switch and everything I don't usually play it my son kind of took it over but uh was wondering hmm oh I wonder what the Wii U has and there's and I started looking it up and stuff and I was like actually what made me uh get it is because my Wii regular Wii can't read discs and I was like well if I'm gonna buy another Wii might as well get a Wii U because then I could have it all, right? So here we are. Well, started getting into, into the homebrew scene and everything, and uh, realized there is quite difficult, unlike the Wii, to get games actually on a hard drive so you can play if you own them. So that is what my mission is here today. Now, um, before we get started, uh, you need to have a jailbroke or hacked Wii and then you need a large SD card because an SD card in the Wii U is uh bat 32 and that can be read in a PC but the way you format a hard drive to get the games on a hard drive is specific to the Wii Wii U and once you format it that way there's no way of moving back and forth unlike the Wii you can move them back and forth um, it formats them special so, um, be aware of that. So, uh, I got to pick up a SD card at Sam's Club and popped it in there. I forget, it's like a 64 gig or something like that. Uh, and then once you have that, you are ready to go. Um, well, after you jailbroken your Wii, um, and you want to make sure it's in the jailbroke, um, mode, where you go to the Me Maker and it will log into your Homebrew App Store. So that's where we're going to go first. I'm going to show you a couple programs you're going to need to do this. Uh, I know there there's a tutorial online on how to do this and it doesn't work. The program he's talking about doesn't work anymore. It's not in the Homebrew App Store. Um, so the first one you're going to want is called Wood wood and then uh that is in the homebrew app store um hopefully this isn't too loud I just recorded this before and it was just, music was super loud so look at this okay yeah the music yeah let me uh mute that a little bit Anyway, there it is, wood, right there. And download that. And once you have that installed, then you need another program called NUSSPLI. Nuspli, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll probably butcher the name. But uh, that's what you need. So... Uh, you have to get on your PC and install. There's the version in the App Store is like a, uh, a dummy down version of it. It's not going to work to do what we need it to do. And what it is is basically an App Store with uh, that you can download a lot of games. But we're not going to use it for that. I have my own games, and this is the game I really wanted to install. And this one's hard to get. I recommend you start picking these up because I guarantee these are going to be not available as and then still now we go into a used game store they don't have a lot of Wii U stuff so that's kind of start picking them up now if you really want to own the physical but right now I want to take my physical and put it on and put it on my uh, hard drive that's connected to my Wii U so the first thing once you have your game and stuff you're going to want to rip it with wood. So we're going to 
go over to would launch that, load that up. No. It's going to give you three different uh, options here. Dump as a wux, dump as a wood, and dump as partition as a dot app. Now, I don't know what wood and wux is. I assumed it was a format that all these emulators and stuff can read. I've had no luck, especially with Black Ops. So I dump partition as a dot app and there, somebody out there might know the difference. I don't. Okay. And then I'm dumping it to the SD. As you can see, it doesn't see an NTFS USB. If you had a USB with that format, it would read that. We're going to put it on the SD card. All right. So we want to dump it as a partition and it's going to start reading the disc. And then it see it sees it call of duty black ops now i'm not going to do it uh because i've already done it and then all you do is hit a and it will start ripping it and it will take a good half an hour to an hour or so depending on big depending on big your uh game is and then once you have it it'll say okay got it all done all right and then you back out and that that's step number one that'll get you get it ripped onto the SD card sitting on your in your Wii U and then X out of this and this is where it gets a little tricky and I had to reshoot a couple times because I had I had forgotten how to do this okay so you go into the the uh, new app store they got to come up with another name I don't know what this means anyway we're gonna load that up and give it a second there we go boots into it takes a minute it's going now this is uh information well use only now you can download content but that's not what we're going to use you can get on there but like i said black ops is not on there so we want to install content, all right? And so when we're first step we're gonna go is install. Now you see there's an empty folder. Now you look at the bottom, it says X, you press A to select, B to return, and X to switch to SD. So we wanna hit X to switch to the SD. Now, at first I was like, oh, here, here's all my stuff. And this is just me trying and error, and error, try on error, very error. Uh, different things so this is not where it put it so we need to go up so this is a just like a menu system you go up to the top you hit select make sure I hit the right button because all right so now we want to go up one and then we want to go to wood w e wood dump wood dump so we want to go in there now I know because I've tested it this first one is the one I ripped so what you want to do is select that. It's going to take a minute. It freezes up. It seems like it's freezing, but it's actually loading. And then it will show you another menu with a big, long number on it. All right. And then it's going to give you an option here to install it to your USB. Now, I already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. And then you can see yes to keep the download file or no. So once you're done with it, I recommend if you're done with it, get rid of it because uh, your S your S your um, SD card memory is very precious. Use it for a lot of things. You can install games onto that too. Regular, like if you have the disc, if you if you don't want to, this makes it so you don't have to have the disc in the drive when you do it this way. Uh, otherwise, if you install it on the SD card, the normal way, you have to have the disk in the drive. So you hit install, and then it will begin to install. And then once you're done, you're all set, exit out of that. And then, as you can see, I'm going to pull out just to show you that it did work. So I have my Call of Duty right here out of the out of the 
of the drive. And then we got to switch over to the pad. Turn that off. It's kind of sad that the uh, it has to have that pad. I mean, I like it, and it doesn't. It's just not utilized. It's, I, I wish you could have either or. You know, have the you can decide. But that was what the switch ended up doing. So now, now I have Black Ops Two. So any of you guys hearing all this rumors that. Activision and Microsoft wants to put the Call of Duty on the Switch, and you're like, no way. So they could just use the uh, Black Ops 2 engine or the mobile and just put that on the Switch. Just put the mobile on the Switch. Why not? And there you go. It is working without the disc. I have the disc right here, and it is uh, loading up Treyarch. And uh, we are playing on it. So hopefully that helps somebody out. I uh, took me a little bit more time than I uh, remembered. I tried to do Smash Bros. in the first take, and there's something wrong with my disc. So. But I know this is what got me started on it. And hopefully that will get you preserving your, your disc. You want to, whatever reason why, you want to keep these. Keep these safe. Well, if you have more questions, let me know. Uh, I'm not an expert on Wii U. I just figured this out, and I thought I'd share it, and nobody else on the internet has has a tutorial, and I hope that helps you out. And if it changes, I'll see what I can do, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.